What's up? I'm going camping this weekend with my wife at an OHV park, uh, off-highway vehicle park in Oregon. And in order to ride a motorcycle or dirt bike, or any vehicle for that matter, at an OHV park in Oregon, uh, you are required to have a United States Forest Service approved spark rester that either has a stamp on it or passes a stick test. And the Ducati Scrambler Desert Sled does not have stamp on it. So I figured I might be able to get away with it if I just go with the OEM exhaust, but I don't want to risk it. And I still have yet to decide on what exhaust I'm going to replace my OEM exhaust with. So I figured I'd, uh, I got to figure something out that is going to make us be okay. Uh, let us get through to the park uh, in case a ranger stops us. So I disassembled the exhaust, uh, just the outside parts where the baffles and the covers. And, you know, they've got these nice little clamps that they come with uh, to, to hold the baffles on to the exhaust. And I'm looking, I'm looking at what I've got available, you know, what I can buy online, if there's a part I can make work, and trying to figure out what can I do to, to fabricate or to, to, to retrofit something. And if you ever have seen a spark arrestor, you know uh, that they're basically just a wire mesh screen. So I went to the dollar store and I got this, you know, grease splatter screen. And then I also got a, uh, a strainer, which seems like the, the metal is a little bit thicker, but the holes are also bigger. So I'm not sure which one is gonna work better, or which one I'm gonna use yet. I probably will use both. But I was thinking, why can't I just cut those up, wrap them around these little nubbins, and then take this nice clamp that Ducati has provided me and clamp those on. I'm pretty sure that'll work, right? I don't need the baffles on because the this giant toaster oven of a catalytic converter does most of the sound deadening for the bike anyway. The baffles are just for whatever, taking down the last couple of decibels, I guess. It's still gonna be quiet enough and not gonna hurt anybody. I'm gonna bring those with me anyway, just in case I'll have them with me, I'll bring them in the truck. Uh, and then if the Rangers you know, stop us and say that they'd rather have me ride around in my OEM exhaust, I can always throw it back on, no big deal. I figured I'd take you along to try and make a not official spark of rester that'll uh, be passable at an OHV park. All right, we're just gonna cut it. What do you think? I don't know. I'm gonna try the other one.
So we've got them on. Got two layers because this, like the gauge wire is a little bit thicker, but the holes are farther apart than this one. So I have the thicker gauge wire with the bigger holes on the inside. You can kind of see the inside mesh and then another you know quarter inch, half an inch space gap before the finer mesh is on the outside. Same thing down there. So I got two layers of mesh. And then I'm gonna cut this all, I'm gonna clean that all up next. Make it look a little bit better so it, and it, so it doesn't snag on my pants. All right, you guys, I'm cracking up over here. Look at this. Look at it. Ah, it's so funny. All right, so now I basically, I loosen this up. I tried to trim it all down and it was not working. I mean, I trimmed it down a little bit, but then it had all these pokey things and I'm bleeding a lot because of them. So all of them are like little micro cuts. So I'm okay. But I figured that that was gonna tear me up while we're out riding. I mean, it's, you know, my foot goes here, my, my boot goes here and all that. But like, you know, you put your foot down, your legs right here, and you have your leg down while you're taking off or launching. You can see this just tearing into my expensive riding pants basically. So I loosened this up, pulled these out a little bit to, so that all the frayed stuff was underneath. Then I tightened it back down. I think this is gonna work. So, <laughs> that's so funny. We're gonna see how it goes. What do you think? How's it look? Not too bad, right? Looks okay. <laughs> ah, that's funny. I also wanna say at this point, I've uploaded a couple of videos to the channel recently, a handful in the last month or two, and I, I've enjoyed it. It's been fun, and I think I'm gonna keep doing it, hence me making this one here. I want it to be publicly known that I'm not trying to monetize my YouTube channel. I don't care about getting to a point where I have a thousand subscribers and I can get paid for, for my YouTube channel. That's not the goal. That's not what I care about. That's not what I'm trying to do. There's just a huge gap or lack of content about Ducati Scramblers, uh, Desert Sled specifically, and anybody doing any work to them and documenting that process. You know, you look up other bikes, my wife's got a Yamaha TW200, which has been around for 30 years, and there are so many thousands and thousands of pages and videos of content on how to upgrade this and upgrade that and this hack and that hack. Uh, and the Ducati Scramblers just don't. There's a, there's a little bit out there. There's a couple of great content creators. That's, that's my motivation. I just want there to be more content out there on how to do random crap. And I'll probably end up uh, shifting away from motorcycle content here in a little bit because I've got some other projects like gardening and uh, things like that that I will do. But that's it. Any feedback is cool. Shoot me a comment about you know, questions about what I've done. I'm more than happy to do a response video. If there's something that I'm shooting that doesn't make sense, or if I skipped over something that you wanted to, to see more, I'm happy to go back and, and update that. But anyway, this is for you guys. Thanks.